Hello toy collectors and YouTubers, this is Film School 93 with another Authentic Legends and Collectibles toy review. And today's toys, we'll be reviewing Super 7's reaction action figures from the 1985 movie Rocky IV, starring Sylvester Stallone, Carl Weathers, and Duff Lundgren as the Russian Ivan Drago. Here they are, the cards, look at that artwork, Rocky in his training outfit in Russia. And I'm telling you what, this looks incredible, this is awesome the way these look on the cards. Here is Ivan Drago. Look at that. Look at Duff Lundgren. This looks amazing. <laughs> I'm assuming that Ed Ripka did these uh, these paintings for this artwork for the cards because they look absolutely beautiful, just like all the other artwork that he does. I'm just super amazed. Look at that Rocky Four logo at the top. Look at that painting. Look like Sylvester Stallone. Let me go back over here to Duff Lundgren. Um, this looks amazing. Look at that. There you even have the Soviet, Soviet Union logo and then the little American logo here. Little seal here. The eagle saying Rocky Balboa action figure. These look amazing. Here is Rocky Balboa packaged on the card. The bubble looks great. The car looks great. I'm super impressed with this. Here is Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed. This, look at that. Look at that. It just looks like he's going to bounce right off the card. Now there's the Rocky IV logo at the top. And of course, ages 14 and up for this action figure. And then we have Seiko here, the robot at the damaged bubble. Yes, I'll get to that here in a little bit. But... Here is the Rocky Four card, and okay, so there's there's Seiko. Look at the painting. Look at the reaction logo at the bottom. All the cards are pretty much like this. Happy birthday, Polly. Love that touch. And then let's go over to the bubble. This was not packaged like in a manila envelope or just something like that separate. This was in a box with the rest of them, all cushioned with bubble wrap, big bubble wrap, so nothing would, bad would happen to them. So I'm telling you, this is how this was packaged. It was like, grab the cart, put in the box, damage. So I, I'm sorry to say this, Super 7, but you let me down on this one. Well, uh, maybe not so much me, but maybe somebody else if their card was damaged. But anyways, here's the artwork, and let me go ahead and just uh, adjust this here on the back so we can take a look at it at the back of the card. All the cards look the same on the back, so... I'm just going to show you this one. Of course, there's a Super 7 logo. It looks like a sticker, but it does not come off, and I kind of find that a little bit odd. But yeah, the Super 7 sticker there over this word, verbiage, talking about Rocky Balboa coming back to fight the Russian and so on and so forth. But um, And of course, this little little bubble here, the, the box that this punch hole is about ready to come undone. So this card is pretty much sucks uh, the way I got it. I don't understand what happened uh, because, like I said, it wasn't boxed just separately. It was boxed with the other ones in a big, nice box with bubble wrap wrapped around them for nothing to get damaged so shame on you super seven for boxing oh yeah the mtm logo to show they got licensee but uh yeah if you just take a look here um yeah that bubble is damaged seat goes like backwards in here i'm sure that's not what he's supposed to look like in the bubble i don't know what happened um it's okay though uh, for the fact that i'm going to take this out of the box or off the card anyways so i mean you know that's what i do on all these toys if you ever watch the other ones i, I take them out of the card but yeah this bubble is just super damaged was grabbed right off the shelf or the, or the assembly line or wherever they have it off the warehouse right off the shelf and just boxed in the box like that now did i complain to them or nothing no i'm complaining on this video well, there's no need to complain and say i want my money back or i want another card no big deal so let's go ahead and take a look at this out of the card and not bad for the sculpt the paint absolutely look awesome the sculpt looks beautiful on this Seiko and if I'm saying that wrong go ahead and correct me down in the comments if I'm saying Seiko the robot wrong because I figure that's the name Seiko anyways this robot looks amazing now I know there's some more detail missing in the back here because I know Seiko had like some stuff here but there's a cup right of the logo uh, the, of Super 7 in the back but that one thing that the party hat does not come enough and like that's the only complaint I really wish they could have had that off of there or not even on there but I don't know what the reason was behind it so let's do the five point articulation test you can move this uh, head around so nothing see if it doesn't pop off or fall off this is very sturdy plastic and so nothing bad's gonna happen and it's kind of moves right down if I can get up close up it moves from the bottom not the head at the top but kind of the bottom towards his neck the neck moves around so I know we do that or adjust that or not but anyways um yeah uh, let's go ahead and do the our, uh, point of articulation test here. It's actually three points, not five. So that arm moves, um, but I can't go any further because of the head. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, just, yeah. This looks amazing. I'm trying to focus in so you can see the detail on this because it's absolutely amazing. Oh, and the accessory, yes. His accessory is the birthday cake, Polly's birthday cake. <laughs> Here is Rocky Balboa with his beard, and he's in Russia in his training outfit in the snow, and the detail on this looks absolutely amazing. Super 7 delivered really, really well with this action figure. Very sturdy plastic. Love the coat. Love just 
everything about this action figure just screams Rocky Balboa the movie part or Rocky IV um, the movie with Rocky Balboa here training for in, in Russia and let's go and do the five point articulation make sure that no that nothing falls off there the, this uh, the right arm here as well make sure that his head turns and it like okay, yeah hold on okay the head doesn't turn all the way due to the his uh, collar on his coat so um, that's not a big deal. But I really, I, I really love this action figure. I, I just love the detail on this. Let's go and make sure that the legs don't pop off or fall off. I can always rely on Super 7 to make some nice looking plastic action figures here without having any problems. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, close-up, if we can, of uh, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa's face. Now, this doesn't look so much like Rocky. It's kind of a combination of Rocky and Shipwreck and possibly um, <laughs> Dallas from Alien. But overall, it's an awesome action figure. You get the point. It's supposed to look like it's a vintage Kenner action figure from the late 1970s, early 1980s. So it's not going to look exactly like Sylvester Stallone, but you get the gist of it. It looks awesome. Here is Ivan Drago, played by Duff Lundgren. And <laughs> it looks, this is amazing. Soviet Union logo there on his boxing shorts, and the paint apps are perfect. And the glove has tons of detail. Look at the boxing shoes lots of detail you can see the laces in it you can see the stripes you can i mean this video is not showing all the detail because you got to be here in person to actually see this action figure now the funny the skin tone's a little bit different it's kind of like a yellowish gray i have no idea but let's do a five-point articulation test here make sure the arms don't fall off make sure that his head turns all the way around i love it when you turn around the, the plastic snaps so you know this is a brand new toy doing the legs as well but this looks amazing it looks like the russian ivan drago duff lundgren so Perfect. All right, here is Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed. Look at the detail on this. And you're going to do an American flag uh, uh, action figure. It's, oh, yeah, the hat doesn't come off uh, off of his head, so it just stays there permanently. But if you're going to do a detail of the American flag all over in an action figure, this was done brilliantly, beautifully. It looks like his coattails are connected to his leg, by the way, there, so it doesn't actually come off in the back. But look at the detail, the tassels hanging from his boxing shoes. The detail in these is just absolutely amazing. Super 7, you knocked a home run out on this one because this is done beautifully. Does it look like Carl, Carl Weathers? Not so much, but that's not that's it's because it's supposed to look like an action figure from the 1970s, late 1970s, early 1980s. So there's just the detail here. And if you can see, uh, the lighting's kind of got a little bit dark. But let's do a, the head to make sure it turns. And I'm afraid that this thing is going to... Uh, okay, all right. There we go. Almost thought I was going to lose Apollo's head here. And let's go and do his arm here. And they're really, they're, they're like in a stiff, straight mode. It's not like a, up, like at a, you know, bent at the elbow. The, the arms are straight down. Of course, here, go and bend the legs here and make sure that they don't fall off either. And I'm just super impressed with this action figure of Apollo Creed. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. <laughs> Here is Rocky Balboa from Rocky IV, dressed to fight the Russian. Unbelievable. Love the sculpt on this action figure. Beautifully done. It may not look like Sylvester Stallone so much, but it's supposed to look like an action figure from the late 1970s, early 1980s, done by Kinner in a 3.75 size. The detail in this is absolutely amazing. I am happy. Look at the detail in the boxing shoes, the shorts with the American flag. It's just an iconic action figure from an iconic movie, iconic character. This screams Americana. So let's go and do a five-point articulation on the arms, make sure that nothing breaks, nothing tears. Uh, we'll go ahead and just turn Rocky's head here. Yo, Adrian! <laughs> I just, this is awesome! I love this! Love this figure! Make sure that the legs don't pop off either. Sturdy, strong, plastic Super 7. Really did a fabulous job on this action figure. And like I said, this is amazing. Doesn't look like Rocky, but I mean, you know, it's an awesome action figure to have in your collection. All right, so here is the Rocky IV action figures with Rocky training in Russia. Rocky getting to fight the Russian. Uh, here is uh, Apollo Creed. Here is Ivan Drago and Siko the Robot. If you're into boxing, if you are into Rocky, if you're into Sylvester Stallone or all of the above, then I highly recommend you pick these action figures up, especially if you're into that Kenner 3.75 action figure look. These Rocky IV action figures are amazing. I got the Rocky IV action figures at Super 7, where they have excellent customer service, super fast shipping. Just click on the link below and get your Rocky IV action figures today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And in the meantime, MTFBWY, always.